Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Yuka here. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Yuka, living in Tokyo. So today I'd like to talk about seven things that I miss about living in America. Yeah, so I have lived in America for uh, half a year and um, I was an exchange student in a college. Yes, so I studied very hard there and I learned a lot of things about America culture and I met a lot of people, um, you know, made lots of friends and also I, um, I really enjoyed it simply. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I have some things that I miss about America. So I'd like to share what I, uh, they are with you. So number one, uh, swimming pool at an apartment. <laughs> yes, so uh, I was living in an um, apartment just right in front of a uh, cam campus, like a college campus. So uh, it was like a very reasonable price and I shared uh, with my, you know, some roommates. And uh, one thing I miss is like um, the swimming pool is in the apartment. Yeah, I thought uh, the apartment is very very special but uh, it turned out um, like uh, most of the apartments has um, had um, swimming pools yeah so like uh, very you know it was very nice you know uh, not only for exercising but also you know uh, chatting with my friends like you know um, on the be uh, swimming pool side <laughs> yes yes so I loved it and also I cannot forget about you know pool party I had <laughs> yes uh, you know people are wearing swimming uh, bathing suits and um, you know some drink something and uh, there was a you know DJ uh, in front of you know the swimming pool and you know uh, I never experienced this, you know, pool party, but seems like, um, you know, America very common, like uh, popular for doing that. Yeah, I wish I have uh, this culture in Japan too, but, um, you know, Japanese residents, not maybe very, very rich um, apartments or people's house, they have swimming pool, but, you know, normally we don't have swimming pools. <laughs> We go to you know uh beaches or you know swimming pool like a public space or you know yeah so I miss it. Number two um cheesecake factory <laughs> yes cheesecake factory you know uh, there are lots of uh, restaurants from America here now like uh, uh McDonald Burger King uh Baskin Robbins um. Yeah, I saw even I saw even um Taco Bell's and also um Panda Express. <laughs> yes, I'm I was in love with, with um uh, Panda Express somehow. Like I love their honey chicken something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was I was missing it and when I went to Hawaii I found Panda Express so you know I could have eaten you know Hawaiian cuisines but I ate Panda Express so you know how much I love you know Panda Express <laughs> and so but uh, I found Panda Express in uh, here Japan recently so so many you know American restaurants now in Japan but you know I I never found um cheesecake factory yet like a uh, cheesecake factory has a huge uh, cheesecake and lots of um, savory uh, cuisines as well so I really enjoyed going there like for me like uh, cheesecake factory cheesecake like when I'm choosing from you know hundreds of uh, choices I was so happy um, even I couldn't finish up the cheesecake I often you know brought back to home and you know ate next next day or something and yeah I wish I have uh, we have cheesecake factory here in Japan 
number three, refund system. I was so shocked and surprised that uh, when I saw the long queue uh, in front of the uh, refund section in Uwas. Yes, yeah, so like uh, people are like a uh, ho were holding the uh, you know items that seems they used like uh, several times, but um, you know I think American shops are very generous about a uh, refund system. Yeah, because you know in Japan, um, you cannot really uh return easily like for free. Like uh, if you know the something malfunct malfunctions or you know if you uh your clothing has some marks or you know some uh damages, you can of course return for free. But uh, reasons are from you like um I don't like this color or uh the size is not really uh fit for me uh you cannot return yeah maybe you can exchange but you know not re uh refund system is not really um how can I say not very really kind to uh people in Japan comparing to America I think number four squirrels yes oh the squirrels are very difficult pronunciation for me but squirrels uh in japanese lisu <laughs> lisu is very simple yes but uh squirrels uh were everywhere uh, everywhere in america <laughs> yes like uh like a first few months i was so excited to see squirrels <laughs> like i was you know saying like a cute cute oh kawaii <laughs> but like uh, yeah the end uh, my american friends are saying what are you so strange you got you know squirrels are kind of ugly i was like, what <laughs> yes you know because uh in japan squirrels are uh kept as a pet you know like uh in my elementary school age uh they there were like a few friends of mine who kept uh, squirrels as a pet. Yeah, so cute. But yeah, like uh, in America, it's like uh, so common and like uh, everywhere you can see. Yeah, so we have, you know, pigeons and yeah, mm, we don't have squirrels uh, seen in, you know, everywhere. So for me, I miss squirrels. <laughs> And but you know after a few months I got used to squirrels, and I was studying uh in library and I heard some you know something was screaming and I checked it and I was it was like a squirrel on the trees um screaming and <laughs> it bothered me a lot so <laughs> I don't really uh at that time I didn't really like the squirrel but now I miss them yeah they were good. Number five, American supermarket. Yes, so obviously, you know, supermarkets in each country has, you know, different, you know, aspects. But, you know, there are uh, several things that are very obviously different from Japan and America. Like such as a shopping cart. <laughs> the size, it was so huge in America. It was so hard to, you know, move and walk <laughs> with a huge supermarket. Uh, the shopping cart you know if you come to Japan it's like a very easy to move yeah yeah and also the variety of um, cereals so crazy so like one lane has a whole you know variation of um, cereals so many choices I was so fun it was so much fun to choose cereals there and also yeah, like uh, meat, the size of meat different, fish different, <laughs> and also uh, interesting that I thought when you are going to a uh, cashier, cashier has a, a belt conveyor in America, like it moves like. Um, the cashier moves um, the <clears throat> belt conveyor, but it is they, uh, there are some in Amer uh, in Japan, but uh, it is not common in uh, in here. So I was so uh, I, it was fun to watch it, and also uh, one more thing that like uh, there are two staff in the cashier. I think 
in America. Like one is for you know taking care of the items, you know how much it is, and one person, another person is taking care of uh, putting items into the uh, plastic bags. I think uh, it's very uh, kind. Uh, only I think expensive expensive supermarkets. Uh, uh, do that for customers in Japan. Yeah, so we normally uh, bring the basket to the space that uh, you put items into the bus, um, you know, your bag. Yeah, so I think it was, you know, very convenient. <laughs> Number six, call people with their first name. Yeah, so I think uh, in America, it's very common that in school, in, you know, um, uh, companies they call uh, with their uh, firm, uh, with their first names like yeah but here in Japan it's very normal that we call uh, with you know family names yeah so <laughs> one thing happened was kind of funny I want to share with you um, so before uh, going abroad I you know I used my uh, exchange program um, in my uh, Japanese comp Japanese uh, university so um, there was an information from uh, my university that um, there is someone you can rely on while you are on in America so I was like uh, you know reading the information and there was a person's name Aida so I was like oh my god Aida is like a Japanese uh, family name Yes, so uh, okay, I can uh, rely on you know Japanese people uh, in America. I'm excited to see Aida san, but it turned out it was um, her first name, Aida. <laughs> yes, not Aida san, she was Aida, so she was you know American and she never spoke in Japanese, <laughs> but it turned out. Um, uh, she was very kind and you know thoughtful and very helpful so we could somehow communicate and you know um, she helped me a lot <laughs> number seven um, I miss about phone call ringing sound in America <laughs> have you heard of Japanese uh, phone ringing sound let's listen yeah so can you see the, yeah obviously the sound is so different like american is do do i love it so hum so hum how <laughs> yeah so like anytime i uh make a uh, international phone call i hear the you know american sound of phone call i got i get excited <sighs> I'm talking, you know, I'm calling to, you know, foreign country. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's kind of silly, but I kind of miss about it. <laughs> yeah, so those are seven things that I miss about uh, living in America. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, to be honest with you, I didn't really, I didn't really want to come back to uh, Japan at that time. But uh, once I got back here, you know, my family is here, um, you know, Japanese hospitality is amazing, people are nice, um, I can, you know, easily communicate with people, of course, with in Japanese, and also I love, um, you know, so yummy Japanese food, yeah, so there are uh, so many things I found, uh, good things about uh, Japan after coming back to, Amer uh, coming back from America. So I think uh, the, the experience is all in all was very great. I wish I can, um, you know, travel to America once this, you know, COVID-19 situation ends. Yes. Yeah, that's all for from me. Thank you very much for, uh, you know, watching and see you next time. Bye.